Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the DJI Mic 2. This is the very latest version of the wireless microphone kit from the company and includes a lot of advanced functionality that I think you'll appreciate. In today's clip, I'll explain the difference between the three configurations that DJI offers with this microphone so you can pick the one that is perfect for your recording needs. Now let's get started with the basic kits. So DJI offers this as a standalone microphone. They offer it as a microphone and receiver combination and they also offer it as a complete kit. And you might be thinking, gee, which one of these is perfect for me? Well, let's start off with the single microphone. So normally a microphone like this needs a receiver to be able to broadcast the audio to so you can pass that along to your recording device. But DJI actually built in two types of transmission technologies into the microphone. So it does have a proprietary transmission technology if you're using the receiver. But as a standalone microphone, it also includes Bluetooth, which means any product that receives a Bluetooth signal, you can pair this up with and you record audio directly to that device. So for example, your phone, your tablet, your computer, if you're using some of DJI's newer products like the Action 4 or maybe the Pocket 3, this directly transmits to those products. So the standalone microphone is a great option if you're out doing vlogs or you're gonna record podcasts. It's wonderful to have a Bluetooth microphone you can clip to your shirt and broadcast within Bluetooth range to that device. But they didn't stop there. The microphone itself works as a standalone audio recorder and it has internal memory, eight gigs of internal memory that will record up to 14 hours of audio directly on the microphone. You don't need to broadcast anything. You record it to the internal storage space on the microphone. Then you can connect this up to your computer and move that file over to your computer so you can use that audio. And the other thing is that internal audio is 32 bit float. So it's fantastic audio being recorded internally. The microphone will operate for about six hours on a full charge. You can charge it through the USB port on the side. So you can use it again as a Bluetooth transmitter to transmit the audio to some device that'll pick up Bluetooth. You can also record internally. Now, if you need to record to a DSLR camera, because DSLR cameras don't have a Bluetooth connection typically that you can record to, you'll need the receiver. Now, adding the receiver not only allows you to connect this up to your DSLR camera and other products that won't work over Bluetooth, but it also gives you a lot more control over the audio. So you can decide if it's going to be mono, is it going to be stereo? The receiver will work with up to two microphones, so you can have dual channels of audio recording through that receiver. You've also got attachments here where you can use that receiver if you choose to with an Android phone or with an Apple phone or any, any Android device really or any Apple device because there's a USB-C connection and a proprietary lightning connection. So this slides on the back of the receiver, you plug it directly into the device and then you're using that proprietary transmission technology from the microphone to the receiver. This is limited to about 40 feet. This <laughs> is up to 250 meters away. So you can have the receiver on your camera and you can walk three football fields away and still broadcast audio over that wireless connection. So much stronger signal, perfect combination if you're doing work in any kind of noisy environment, whether there's a lot of interference in the area from fluorescent lights or Wi-Fi connections, or if you're at a conference and you've got to record there, there's all kinds of wireless things going on. Perfect combination for that. Again, great for vloggers, great for direct communication with a product like a phone or a tablet or your laptop or some of the newer devices from DJI. This is more of a universal kit that will do exactly what that'll do over Bluetooth, but it also includes the receiver that uses that proprietary transmission technology. And then finally, the full kit includes a rechargeable case that everything slides into. And this case is perfect because it protects your devices, it keeps them organized, plus you can charge it through the case and you're actually charging an internal battery in the case. So whenever you're using the products in the field and you drop them back in that charging case, they'll start to recharge. And again, these products are good for about six hours of use on a fully charged battery. When you drop them back in the case, the case will recharge them twice more. So that extends the overall recording capabilities of the kit to 18 hours, which is absolutely amazing. So if you're heading out for an afternoon of recording and you bring this along, you're gonna have more than enough power to record all the audio to your heart's content for up to 18 hours, which is pretty amazing. So again, I guess the difference between them is if you're a vlogger, perfect fit up right here for you. This will connect directly to your devices, allow you to record really good audio over Bluetooth. If you need to connect to a DSLR or you need a greater recording distance than Bluetooth provides, this is the kit for you. And if you really wanna get everything in a beautiful case that recharges your devices, go with the full kit. And that's pretty much all I had for today. So hopefully you found this helpful. I think this recording setup 
is really the perfect wireless system out there on the market today. And I've tested all of them. The audio quality from this is absolutely astounding. It's got noise cancellation built in, intelligent noise cancellation built in. It'll record for broad distances of up to 250 meters. And it just does an amazingly good job of transmitting audio from the microphone to the receiver. So it, that's all I really had. So thanks an awful lot for watching. And as always, until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy. Thank you.